We're back for another irreverent and politically incorrect rant, Guru's rant on Penchak Silat, Kun Tao, martial arts, health, strength training, life, etc. etc. <laughs> I'm your host, Santiago Dobles, just a regular guy wants to share some good information with you and hopefully you'll use that information to make your life better and then you'll turn around and tell people about where you got that information from because it's always important that you give credit where credit is due so we're gonna rant today on something that somebody asked me a student of mine asked me if I could talk about the illusions in martial arts concerning the knife we talked about this the other day, okay? I see a lot of people invest a lot of money in Filipino martial arts, even in Silat. And if you have an instructor that's not honest, they will take your money, literally steal it from you, and teach you bullshit. They will teach you 90% of the stuff they're showing you probably won't work in a real fight. Or they themselves have never been in a fight. And when it comes to the knife, if you see them doing all this fancy disarms and wipes and things and strip disarms and, you know, where you see the blade like this and they're trying to do these kind of disarms where they're trying to disarm it like that. I'm going to tell you right now the honest truth. That is 100% bullshit. Bull, bull, bullshit. It'll never work. Okay? And this is how you know it'll never work. And this is how you know you have an instructor that's either telling you the truth or they're lying to you. Okay? Ask your instructor to knife spar. Or to knife spar with you. And ask them to disarm your knife. Now, I've done this several times with people. We knife spar a lot in my school, and we talk a lot about it, and we do it. We do a lot of drills. There's a phase in your training where you're learning how to move and how to gain hand and eye coordination. And in those phases in the beginning, I could see why or why you would do some knife passing Maybe you'd go for a disarm, or you'd learn the basics of a disarm, okay? Or you'd learn some uh, movements against the knife. It's to get you coordinated, but it's not reality, okay? The only way you're going to understand and respect the knife and be able to properly get a mindset for the knife is to knife spar. How do you knife spar? You get yourself some good trainers. Cold Steel makes excellent ones. You can even go to the supermarket and get those Betty Crocker um, knife schmear, little rubber knives. Those work great too. Get yourself a pair of goggles at Home Depot and square off with your partner. Put a timer for three minutes or five minutes and go at it. See what happens. All right. Um, what you're going to find if you knife spar is that most of the stuff you've been taught in most Filipino martial art classes, in most schools that teach knife, is bullshit, including C-Lot. A lot of C-Lot. I see a lot of C-Lot people doing absolute bullshit. I saw this yesterday. I'm not going to mention names. Um... There's certain people in the C-Lock community that instead of training with people that know what they're doing, they literally flush their money away to go travel half across the country or across the continent, across the ocean, to go train c -Lot in Indonesia or Malaysia because somehow they think that over there, it's going to be better than over here. Well, I have news for you. Learn your C-Lot from people that have used it and have experience with it, okay? I saw these people over there learning this stuff where 
the guy thrusts the knife long, right? And the other guy moves out of the way, grabs the wrist, does a flip, ends up behind him in a locking position, and then disarms the arm, disarms the knife. Look, that's total, total bullshit. It'll never work. In fact, I'm going to issue a challenge to the entire Filipino martial art community and to the entire Silat community. You come, we'll train, we'll put on goggles, we'll use rubber daggers, and I will give you a thousand dollars cash if you can disarm my knife. Okay? I'm putting it out there. It's time now that people wake up and stop wasting their time and wasting their money learning bullshit. Now, there are some things that work, and I'm not saying disarms don't work. They do work, there's a time and place for them. But if you're in a knife fight, okay, and a guy is, is basically moving his blade in all kinds of ways that, you know, you, you're not gonna be able to catch that, right? You're not gonna sit there and try to grab the knife and strip disarm and roll it over its disarm this way, and no. You're gonna get cut, okay? There's no way you're gonna be able to disarm that as much as you try to. So, here's the reality. What does work? Hitting, striking, moving, getting the hell out of the way, or run out of there, okay? Because the reality is, if you don't know what you're doing, run. Now, if you have a blade, the best thing to do is to get control of the blade of the other person, if you can. And that's done by putting two hands on the wheel, okay? Try to get two hands on the wheel or control and hit, control and hit. I was in one knife fight when I was young and luckily the little bit I had learned as a kid in karate and in uh, white crane kung fu actually helped me because the guy that was using the knife was a dumbass and didn't know what he was doing. But here's the problem, the blade does not discriminate and it doesn't care whether you know martial arts or not. In fact, somebody who's angry and is wielding a blade at you, they don't give a fuck about what martial art you know, they just wanna cut you. So here's my point. Study and learn, make sure that you study and learn from people who know how to knife spar. There are some people out there, okay? There are some people that know what the hell they're doing. In my school in Miami, Florida, we do this a lot. And I try to dispel a lot of the bullshit that's out there. There's people put too much time and they spend thousands of dollars. I know because I was one of them. Thousands of dollars learning from the greatest Filipino martial art people and the greatest this and the greatest that and the greatest sea lot people. Meanwhile, I'll tell you this right now. You take most of those Silat masters and Kali masters and you put them to knife spar, they're gonna die in, in terms of getting cut. If it was a real knife, they're gonna lose it. They're not gonna be able to do it, okay? You're just not gonna get away from the knife. It's almost impossible. There's a chance of some things working, yes, and you need to train those things. But to sit there and try to do a strip disarm and a fancy disarm and a parry and a pala soot and this and that, you're gonna get cut. I don't care who you are, okay? Now, don't get me started on the MMA guys, okay? There's no Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Gracie guy or 10th Planet guy that's going to submit a man with a knife who knows how to use it. Anyhow, I hope you found this informative. Sorry to come off as an ass, it's just that I get tired of seeing this stuff and I, I feel bad for people when they waste the money, hard earned money, to, to learn some bullshit that's just not gonna work, okay? <clears throat> so I issue a challenge to anybody who thinks that what I'm saying is bullshit. You can come see me, we'll put on eye goggles, <clears throat> I will have a rubber dagger, and I will come at you with that dagger, and you can try to disarm me. If you disarm my blade, I will give you a thousand dollars. Take care.